Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vape and Biker. This is just a quick bonus video today. Uh, just a quick one to show you about a little product that I think is really, really cool. Now if you're a Mick user, then you need one of these. Now, um, this is my broadside that I showed recently in, uh, I don't know if it was a Facebook Live thing, but it had patinaed to buggery. Now this broadside does look great when it's patinaed. However, I wanted to shine it all up and make it look all pretty just for you guys. So uh, yeah, that's what's happened. Now ordinarily when I've been shining these up, I've tended to get old and knackered um, RDA decks and I've ripped the pins out just leaving a center pin in um, so I can attach that into the drill and then shine up like I did do it in a video last year that was just so dodgy, it was ridiculous. However, um, there's one of these little puppies on the market now from my friend uh, Rick at modmaker.co.uk. Now this is a fantastic little jig that allows you to both shine up your mechs and your RDAs. Uh, you stick this in your drill and it's just so easy, it's ridiculous. However, I'm going to show you how it works because I think it's so simple, it's fantastic. So I'm going to show you a quick up and closey time and then we're going to come back up again. Right, so this is what we've got in the little funky Mod Maker Designs bag. Let's have a little zoom in so we can see what exactly we've got in a real focus. Now then, let's crack into it. So, you do get a couple of spare O-rings and everything else does come in bags. Now, you've got the two sections here. You've got this piece, which is for cleaning your mod, and you've got this piece, which is for cleaning your atomizer. Now, they obviously work together. The great thing I really like about these is the additional O-rings that are added in here, because that means that when this is butted up either to your um, mod or to your uh, atomizer, they don't get stuck, you know? You don't get the sort of the, the, the metal kind of binding together, because as you'll see, that um, there is a slight separation in there because that's where the uh, that's where the o-ring is stopping it Which I think is absolutely superb So you do have to be a little bit careful because they can pop out a little bit But uh, you do get a couple of spares anyway, so that's fine and dandy now Then if we just unscrew that you'll see also at the bottom underneath there There is a little mod maker logo, which I think is a really nice touch just engraved in the bottom there See if I can zoom into that even more. Um, I think that is just really really sweet Right then, let's get into cleaning something, shall we? It's nice and easy, and uh, it certainly, certainly makes your life a lot better. Now, this is exactly how I've cleaned this copper broadside that I showed you in the intro. Um, and today, what we're going to be doing is uh, cleaning, even, the uh, Rogue mod. As you can see here, we've got a fair amount of patina going on, and it's, uh, it's all getting its kind of nastiness happening. So I'm going to take the switch out. I will clean the switch by hand. Um, but we'll just take that out for the time being. We'll take the rogue off the top. Now, obviously, when you do do this, you want to make sure that um, you do give everything you've cleaned a good wash and you don't obviously clean an atomizer with you've got a build going on in there and all that sort of good gear. So let's get this into the drill. So we'll tighten that up in there like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down. Now, the stuff that I'm using to clean, so people have asked me before I've shown it in the past. I got this from uh, like a, just a, a car place in the uh, in the UK, uh, Wilco's, I think it was. But uh, yeah, I think anything like this, Autosol, all of that sort of gubbins, you can, uh, you can use. But I found this stuff to be really quite good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dump a bit of this on here. Like so. I want to try and make sure I get this under camera. Just splurge a bit of this on the uh, on the underside of that tube there, and then just fire her up. Once we've got a good old coating of gunk on there, now we can just give it a brief a wipe off. Oops. That gets the worst off, and then I'm using a cleaner, cleaner microfiber cloth just to give it a final buff. And that's it. That is now a super clean and shiny mech mod in brass, which I think looks gorgeous. So all I've got to do now is do the uh, is do the RDA. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo 
the little pin jobby screw that into the other section that allows us to then pop in the RDA like so okay I just skipped that bit a little bit just so I could get the drip tip off that was in there super tight right so now that's all attached up same principle applies connect it to your drill tighten her up make sure everything's on there nice and snug cleaning cloth you only need a very small amount of uh, of guff on there for this And there we have it, a nice, bright and shiny RDA as well. So taking that off the uh, the base there. Now once again, nice and easy thanks to those O-rings installed in the little former there. And that just makes life so much easier. I like the thickness of this post here. Um, it does just fit in my drill. It is a fair old size, but it does mean that everything is super stable once you are in there. Obviously, don't put too much pressure on your uh, on your on your mech or rda once it's installed because it is going to uh it's still only waiting on those uh, or being held in by those threads on the 510 but essentially there we go a nice and bright and shiny um there's a little bit there i can just buff that out um a nice and bright and shiny mod again in no time at all let's go back up top so that was showing you how the little jig from uh, modmaker.co.uk works and on top of that it's a tenner well it's under a tenner it's 9.99 which is an absolute bargain i think this is fantastic i can guarantee it's going to be something where i'll buy multiples of purely because i i may lose them because i'm horribly accident prone but i think it's it's fantastically useful um it definitely makes life a lot easier than having to bung an old rda base on the uh, on their on their uh, mech and it certainly it, it, it makes sure everything's centralized as well it's machined really really well it's finished really really well and it just does a good damn job so if you're a mac user head on over to modmaker.co.uk i'll make sure there's a link down below treat yourself to one for a tenner just to make your life that little bit easier what's not to love anyway on that note i'm off thanks very much for watching have it large